Among the thousands of dramatic and colorful stories that emerged from Reconstruction, one that people should know better is the story of Robert Smalls. Robert Smalls was a slave in Beaufort, South Carolina, where he worked as a pilot. And during the Civil War, he um, utilizes the cover of night to pilot a ship, the Planter, with his family and other enslaved men's families out of Charleston Harbor and to the U.S. blockade. He turns over the ship. He eventually uses his reward money to go back to Beaufort to buy his master's house, which still stands in Beaufort and is a place that people can visit in that lovely and uh, touristic town. And he sets himself up as a political center for nearly 50 years in Beaufort, South Carolina, serving on the Constitutional Convention that enfranchises African Americans, living long enough and holding power long enough to serve as a dissenter in the Constitutional Convention that strips away their right to vote. Five terms in Congress. And even after all of this, he manages to sustain a political alliances in Beaufort that survive even uh, statewide disfranchisement, so that even in the early 20th century, when African American political power has been destroyed in South Carolina, he's stitching together black-white alliances in Beaufort um, and holding on to a modicum of political power and political participation that only ends after his death. So his life really captures the incredible swings that Reconstruction brought, the openings and possibilities it exposed, and also the different difficulty of sustaining those gains over the lifetimes of the people who, who participated in them.